game. So um, I can't plot another route for the Miklik further up the road. That's the AI telling me that that's as close as you get. So it sees the mines. Yeah. So that that's the thing that we I did wrong a couple of weekends ago where I thought the AI was being stupid and I just pressed ahead and then blew up and said, oh, that's why he didn't want to go there. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is give it a breach command straight up the road. Okay, so the, I mean, normally you don't have a nice thing like a road as a something to, um, as a reference point, but we're going to use that for this. So it's automatically closed the hatch and fired the charge. Okay, so then what you have to do is stop it because it'll actually try and go up the road so we don't want to lose the vehicle so I've just intervened there and stopped it so I'm now giving it a retreat command and no doubt it'll jackknife the trailer and look really stupid it has So what I've done is given an assault command up the road to the same waypoint where the Miklik stopped and then we'll give it a breach command. So when it gets to the, the waypoint you should see the turret traverse off and the um, vehicle will slow down and the plough will actually descend into the dirt. And it will now drive up pretty much the same route that the Miklik fired its charge up, so we're actually proving the route. And then when it's through the minefield, it'll, it'll actually spear off to the left and take up a fire position. At the same time, I've now got one of the ordinary engineer 113s uh, coming up, the, coming across to where we started the breach command. Uh, because I've plotted it on the map, it will also do a breach up the same route that the plow tank took. So again, you you don't have to worry about individually controlling it and maybe getting it wrong. And it should then start to deploy the flags. As well. Now. What should be happening at about this time is all, you know, a whole bunch of artillery and shit landing on the other side so that um, the bad guys keep their heads down, but I'm just trying to do this bit properly. Okay, so you should be now seeing flags on the road. Um, at night, they're um, TI reflective, so they'll show up in the dark. And when the artificial intelligence is happy, you'll actually get a mill symbol on the map. As we'll take a plough tank up, and depending on how that goes, we'll take a viper up and uh, see if we can detonate the concrete. So again, you know, we, we would in theory be dropping smoke and HE on the town and all that sort of good stuff. Right, so the roller is sort of significantly unsuccessful. And even better than that, wedged.
Okay, they're pulling back. Okay, good. So, we've learned from that is the rollers and plows don't work against those concrete things. doesn't even want to fire because it's only good against minefields. Fire! 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 So even when I'm... And... Did we scratch the paint? I think that's about it. Didn't even detonate. No, it should have gone off. Well, I didn't see an explosion. Did you see one, Duke? No, there were no explosions. That's what happens when you have everybody in the one classroom. Piece of cake. And that's because they're not dug in, you know, they're just sitting there bits of basically bits of metal. So the 113 will, will not put flags either side of that because hopefully it's pretty obvious where the hole is.